A second test of the X-51A Wave Rider flew June 13th in the Point Magoo Naval Air Test Range over the Pacific Ocean, bringing significant hypersonic research data in a less than successful flight test. The hypersonic aircraft was successfully boosted to just over Mach 5 and the scramjet engine lit, but failed to transition to full power. According to Air Force Flight Test Center officials, after a flawless flight from Edwards Air Force Base, a U.S. Air Force B-52H Stratofortress released the experimental vehicle from an altitude of approximately 50,000 feet. After release, the X-51A was initially accelerated by a solid rocket booster to a speed of just over Mach 5. The experimental aircraft's air-breathing scramjet engine lit on ethylene and attempted to transition to JP-7 fuel operation when the vehicle experienced an inlet unstart. The hypersonic vehicle attempted to restart and oriented itself to optimize engine start conditions but was unsuccessful. The Wave Rider continued in a controlled flight orientation until it flew into the ocean within the test range. Engineers from the Air Force Research Laboratory, Boeing, and Pratt Whitney Rocketdyne are now reviewing the large amount of telemetry data collected during the test flight. Don Waldman, Edwards Air Force Base, California. This has been Dateline Edwards. If you have questions or comments, we'd like to hear from you please send us an email at channel.6 at edwards.af.mil.